sometimes. And so, like, it, it it's just it, that's something that I've noticed that like you'll you'll have a lot more turnover making friends in the space than trying to make buyers. Dude, one hundred percent. Absolutely, yeah. The power of of not revealing information is so so freaking important. Like, people don't understand. They just want to reveal everything right away. Um, it doesn't work that way. Uh, simply Dika, uh, inner weirdos. What's up? We got you there. Maybe, maybe not. No, I must have pressed something by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just listening. What's so up? Good. No, 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 no. I'm just listening, guys. I, I pressed it by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. But, um, yeah, well, welcome. And, and you know I love your work, so. Yeah, I know. If Thank I you. could just uh, add. Yeah. Um, definitely made my self-esteem go a lot higher being in the space. But, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out because I'm, my kids are still not sleeping. I'm just listening. <laughs> Got you. Thank you. Thank you for joining no, but really what I wanted to say, yeah, just build those connections, like become friends with people. Because yeah, in the beginning, as I said, I had like 32 followers. I had no idea how to use Twitter and something. And at first I had to like force myself, you know, to actually kind of network and interact with people. Like then it became like a habit and then it became like a natural thing. And I'm looking forward. I made like some really good friends and you know who you are out there. Like, you know, I see yours truly out there. I see Paris Chill now here. I see Rangsteer out here. Like, I mean, big ups to you guys. This is the people that I know they're here in the space. I, every time, you know, I fire up Twitter in the morning, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just going to meet, you know, I'm going to meet those people. I mean, this is, this is worth like much more than the ETH that you're going to get. And once you understand that building these connections and something is a big part of that, it, it, it totally changes your mind about the space. It's not about you, you know, you you shilling and making, you know, like what, what what whatever amount of crypto you want. It's just this is about like building connections. The crypto would would come if you're here already. If you know what you're doing, if your craft is good enough, you, you're gonna make it. You know, just play it right. That's you know, that's that that's that, that's how I see it. Bro, that, like that's one thing with me and the uh, VV man. I love the app. I love everything, but the community has got me going, bro. I didn't even have Twitter. Like, I it's I made so many friends there doing that, and NFT space is the same thing. I'm like, it's amazing, man. Um, I super appreciate everybody in here. Um, sharing, speaking, listening. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to quickly go over the entire how to shield thing that I said at the beginning, super quickly. And then we'll wrap it up. So basically the whole point is if you have a pen for sale and you walk up to somebody and try to sell them the pen, they're going to think you're fucking nuts. If you want to sell somebody a pen, you have to put them in a situation where they need to write or you need to find your demographic and find somebody who needs to write and needs a pen. There's no if, ands, or buts. Stop trying to throw your pen in people's faces, <laughs> you know? So... Um, part one was how to shill. You know, everybody knows how to be confident, but uh, you got to keep it short when you speak. People, people talk too much. Less is more. Stop revealing everything. Just let it, let it go. Let it go. Just say what you got to say. Move on. Come back tomorrow. Reveal a little more. Come back to tomorrow. Reveal a little more. Um, number two, don't ever tell people to buy your work. Um, like too much force creates resistance. You're just that's counterproductive as hell. You need them to come to the conclusion of purchase on their own. You need them to come to the conclusion of purchase on their own. Number three, be yourself. If you come into a space just to shill, nobody's going to like you. They're not going to take you seriously. They're not going to think you take the project seriously. They're not going to think you take them seriously. Number four, one hand washes the other. Uh, everybody wants to post on the shill tweets and make sales and do all of this, but nobody wants to engage, network make connections. Nobody wants to reply to people. You see, I reply to so many people as I, as I can. I don't want to blow people uh, notifications, but I try. Um, number five, perceptions, everything, you know, acting like you need sales or desperately linking your NFTs, it's going to damage your perception. If you look like you need sales, nobody's going to be, you know, feeling FOMO. You're the one who feels FOMO. You have to make them feel like they need you, not the other way around. Number six, this is the, my favorite one. It may be hard to accept, but nobody gives a damn about your life story in one sitting. 
You have to make them give a damn, right? Imagine that you you watch an episode of, of in the first episode, they just tell you everything. You know, it's like, well, what the hell was that? That was weird. <laughs> you know, build it up at least. Um, you know, build that hype. Don't reveal everything at one time. And number seven, you know, how the hell do I get seen? Tweet consistently, showing works in, in progress, the time lapse. You know, that goes a long way, showing people that you're official and, and, and you do this and how you do it. Um, most people are like me and they're in love with the process of the art. How the art is made is all part of the art. Um, engaging with other people for the love of God. Stop being big headed and egotistical. Engage with other people. Uh, create value that gives you leverage, whatever it is, whatever it is, FOMO, create FOMO. That's what it means. Uh, being confident, not caring about sales, right? If you have a, a, if you're supposedly confident in your art, then why are you desperate to sell it? You know, you know, you pick one or the other. So if you're confident, you won't be desperate about sales. You see, I'm going to show my work and um, people are going to buy it. And, and if not, they're going to regret it because that's how I go. You know, either, either you support me or regret it. And um, join spaces and discords, connect with people on spaces, uh, connect on people with di uh, discords and be the ice cream truck, man. Like make noise, travel everywhere and let people know, you know, who everybody knows who you are, but don't knock on anybody's door. Make them chase you. Make them chase you. Be the ice cream truck. Don't ever uh, don't ever knock on people's doors. That's a terrible way to be a salesman. Sorry to anybody who uh, did that job, but you probably hated it if you did. And number eight, create FOMO with the structure. You know, whether it be one of ones or low editions, but don't just keep raising your your, your uh, edition sizes just because you have people there like you want. You want it to sell out. That's how you create FOMO and get people interested, man. If you want people to be interested in your shit, you have to make them be interested in your shit. And that's how, you know, all of these tips um, and check out uh, robots uh, pin tweet to the top of the space. I appreciate everybody here. I really, really do. This was a great space. Uh, I'm going to probably get sent to eat. And um, this was amazing. Hopefully we'll do this again soon. I try to do these spaces when I have something more to offer now. Not as, uh, you know, not as often, but more powerful. Right. So it's it's a it's a compromise. So I appreciate everybody being in here and I'm going to catch you guys on Twitter. Have a good day. We appreciate Thanks, you. Straight, straight to the point. Like, keep it up, man. Like, keep it straight to the point like you always do, brother. Appreciate I always it. love to say this is just a start. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Uh, love to everybody. Have a good day. Fucking, he um, was on Eckler all week, and then I, I talked myself off of him because I thought he was going to be chalky. Now, now I'm like second guessing myself, obviously. What gate? Like, who's playing? Is it college or NFL? no? It's NFL. It's okay. there's no bye weeks this early in the season, so between Thursday, Sunday, and Monday, every team will play. I know not too much about football. I've seen, I've watched it before, but. So last night, I, I mentioned earlier, I got to see a couple of my buddies who play, um, but I hadn't seen them since the start of training camp. Like I was with these guys all day, every day since February. And then training camp started at the end of July and uh, and I haven't seen them since. So it was really, really good to see them last night. They played Thursday, so they're just chilling for the weekend. Uh, but my boy Brandon had a touchdown last weekend, so it was only his second career touchdown. So I gave him a oh, big no old shit. hug. That's super cool. It was dope. It was real dope. And so it's like I'm assuming this is like uh, years of long friendships. You've kind of seen him kind of mature through this. Uh, so I met. Um, no, no. Uh, okay, okay. I met. I was just, that was that'd be interesting to watch somebody grow through that. Yeah, no. I, I've had some. I had a couple of childhood friends that I grew up with that that have gone on to play in different leagues. But no, uh, I met all these guys just through photography. I about um, shit. 
six years ago yesterday, as a matter of fact, I worked a Panthers game. It was just a one game. Oh, no shit. Um, and then through that, I, I uh, a then lineman by the name of Charles Johnson, he uh, he started following me. He, he liked my work, and he hit me up. He was retiring. So I, long story short, I spent the day with him uh, and captured pictures of his entire day, retirement day, his speech at the stadium, all that. And then I don't know if you all remember the running back, Jonathan Stewart, um, but Jonathan Stewart started following me. And, and I'm not a Panthers fan, but when Jonathan Stewart started following me on Instagram, that was the first time I kind of stopped and was like, oh, shit, this person's following me, right? And then come, <laughs> come to find out, I ended up meeting him and his wife maybe a year or two years later. Um, but when I met him, dude, he was into photography, which I didn't know. So when I met him, like, here I am. I'm all geeked up to meet this fucking NFL stud. Um, and, and I, like – just just admiring from afar again not, I was never really a fan of the team but he was one of those guys that I respected and and rooted for and so when I met him you know in my head I'm all geeked up and but he's fucking geeking up about me and my photography so that was super dope so long story short through that through that relationship with Jonathan Stewart and his wife I started working with several other players and it was at an event a couple of years ago um dj moore the receiver for the panthers we him and i had communicated like six months prior via uh dm but never met and that i met him at this particular event and like we just connected right away this was uh two years ago we just we clicked we exchanged phone numbers that's awesome and later he hit me up this was last last off season so covid off season with no no training camp or preseason so uh, about a week after that event, he hit me up. He was doing some training. So long story short, that entire off season of 2020, I was I was shooting with him probably like three or four times a week um, from from February until like August. Um, and he would he would he would go. It's hard. It's hard to explain. But like Will Greer, then, uh, who I didn't really know well then, but he was a quarterback or he is a quarterback. But because there was no training camp and, and the players last year had no idea what if there was going to even be a season. But Will, um, he, he drafted by the Panthers two years ago. He's born and raised in Charlotte. So he's got his father, his family here. His father's a high school football coach. So all last year, Will would just text the receivers and running backs and be like, yo, I'm going to go throw the football for, for a couple hours today. You know, come through. So long story short, all every almost two to three times a week all summer long, you know, the, the all the receivers and running backs, most of them, would just go to this high school field and just ball out for an hour. Or Tear two. it up. And I'd be out there. <laughs> it was cool. And I'd be out there every day capturing it. And then long story short, I can ramble. I'm sorry, guys, but it's pretty cool. No, it's um, NFL and chill. Forward, this is related. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fast forward to this past December. Um I, w I went home to Jersey to chill with my family for a couple months, came back to Charlotte uh, right after Christmas, and um, Will hit me up and DJ hit me up to do some more exclusive shit. So uh, DJ and I didn't do as much uh, this year, but Will and I, um, we became brothers in a, in a short period of time. And I was with that dude and his family, his wife and his two daughters, and this man w works out so much, whether it's like track or CrossFit or football, or we'd go to the fucking mountains in North Carolina for a weekend and his friends and his family and we'd ski and snowboard and hike and just do do dope shit. And I was with him almost daily from like February until till August. And and through that, guys like Brandon, who's a receiver and, and other guys, you know, Will and them beca became good friends, and through that, I became good friends with them just because we were around each other so much. Josh, I have a question for you. Have you ever been to uh, the, the Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar, I think it's called? Yo, Cowfish is fucking fire, bro. <laughs> Cowfish is awesome. So, like, I think it's, been, it's been a little while, but back like back in my drinking days, about seven, eight years ago, I would go in there and, and not only veg out, but I'd get a hammer. It's wild. So a few years ago, I was producing this show with uh, – the comedian Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy, and we did a segment with the Carolina Panthers. Um, so I got to like do a whole thing with like Ron Rivera, and I forget the other players that we had on. But it was the show. 
That's real dope. And that comedian's funny as uh, hell, he, dude. It was him and his, like, three other... The show sucked at the end of the day. Don't get me wrong. I, that was the only reality show I ever, <laughs> I ever helped. For. No, that's a dope experience. Um, but we went... It was, like... It was uh, called Fluffy Breaks Even. And, uh, like, so basically he would go into different cities and he would just eat because he loves to eat, you, you can tell. And then he would have to do a workout. So we went into the shop. I'm so hungry right now. We did a... <laughs> we did a work... We did an eating at Cowfish and then we did a... A workout at uh, it was Joe Gibbs Racing because I don't know if people know. Adjusting to the brightness and see the lights to cover up the whole mess. But the Lord is still my shepherd in the valley of death, yo. Hey, Babylon, you're run for the wall. Your pretty towers, them are pretty soon far. Your TV screens are keep them pretty and dry. They'd like to fight for let them to the downfall, yo. Hey, Babylon, you're run for the wall. Reduced by all diversity, also university, corporate electricity and water still in scarcity. Still you walk home, charge me for your public health care misery. Church and church and nonsense, but below the man not care for we. Wind the witch of fuckery, market like the economy. Come here, suffer trickery, the market is not free. Cause the man not pull it like a puppet on a string. And regulators blind to see the enemy within. Cause bank of business entities, run by foreign companies. I've seen them still a poison weed, fucking PCBs. 
pursuing on well. You proclaim my own sail on hell. So that virus is approaching still. But what's then it come for your boat? How you got your way? No man may not no business with no GM spell. But educate your me and tell them to fun at fun day. But for free of education that protect from AIDS. Why you rape up all the thickness that that cloth not fade? Let the bullets up the gun of revolution, hey. Rustin is a fin that's campaign. You wonder why your policies of healthcare fail? You wonder why your policies of hygiene fail? Lost sight of your head and now you chase your tail. Rustin is a fin put a lot of decent jail. Rustin is a fin watch a lot of the wired sales. Yo, then he said, if he hear all of the children well, and then he come fit on them, said, if he stop eat snail. Cause as a vegetarian man, not eat well. Not care about change, not care about sale. The blood are run black, so why man not run pain? And only King Selassie Rastafari. That's how he's your cool. Mexico City is a cool, Rastani, Alpha Stop of Passing Through. Welcome to the Dub Corner. This is an Alpha Stepper selection. <laughs> <laughs> 
dubwise with no compromise. Please like and subscribe if you're feeling the vibe.
Don't deal with violence. I nice peace Rasta man. I don't steal, cheat. You see it? I myself. Slap I continually. No matter what the weak say. And I know that I and I shall cheat a plan by the river water. And not even the dog of peace against the wall of my plan shall give this judgment. But I and I know that. I and I know that all of you.
is only Rastafari we heal, none before and none after. You know, we just live the goodness of life because the world got nothing to offer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. In a fire race and a burning sea, Ethiopia's got the Trinity. Ah, yes. In a fire race and a burning sea, loose all chains and set the captive free. Ah, yes. In a fire race and a burning sea, Ethiopia's got the Trinity. Ah, yes. In a fire race and a burning seal. Oh, well, yeah, yes, da. King of Miranda, me, Give thanks and pray, yeah, yes, nothing less. King of Miranda, me,
people you cannot give up a continent for island. To have this Africa family, we need a rise in our love. I give my life for Africa. Ethiopia. Africa. Ethiopia. Ethiopia.
मौत मुझको 